This is Andrew for CollectionDX.com taking a look at Action Toys new Machine Robo series, Rod Drill. That's right, GoBots are back. So Rod Drill, aka Drill Robo, aka GoBots Screwhead, is uh, a nice solid little action figure who stands just a little under 5 inches tall from the tip of his head to the bottom of his feet. And uh, his design is very much patterned after the Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos anime. And uh, anybody remember when CPM released this? So, uh, for those like really excited about this line, and you should be because they're really nice toys, you have to remember that uh, Action Toys got the license for uh, the anime, so they can only use characters who were in the show. So unfortunately that means uh, no Gyro Robo, aka Coptor, and uh, if they make a Crasher it'll be the white version of Porsche Robo. But anyway, I like Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos, it's amazing, but on to the figure. So uh, he's a, a nice, like really well articulated, just little solid action figure. Um, my only real complaint with him is his little skirt here doesn't seem to go forward enough for... So he can kick his legs forward like that, but other than that, he's got, you know, ball jointed hips, he's got thigh swivel, a nice double jointed knee, which is part of his transformation, uh, double jointed elbow right here. Uh, there's no bicep swivel, but he does have a little swivel here in his uh, elbow right there. And he's just, he's actually a really nice, like, very expressive figure. Very simple, pretty straightforward, and uh, oddly enough, he's not really that much bigger than the original uh, GoBots or Machine Robo, uh, Drill Robo or Screwhead. So uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, he does have die-cast metal in him. Um, parts of his chest, or his back right here, this is all die-cast metal. And uh, the inner sides of both of his shins are also die-cast metal. So he's definitely got the heft. And he feels very, again, very solid, very well built as far as toys go. Uh, for accessories, he comes with these things, which aren't from the anime. In fact, in the anime, he had a cool gun backpack. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're like little puncher slash tonfa things. Eh, they're not really that cool, I guess. They're just sort of there to fill out the package. Um, but yeah. But anyway, Drill was the, uh, the kind of joking strong guy of the group, and uh, he's actually a um, pretty memorable character. It's weird, because I haven't really revisited GoBots since I was a kid and watched it on USA Network, uh, but Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos is like still very like fresh in my mind, because I watched the whole thing. Um, I like the fact that you can totally make him go like, I'm hungry, or you can have him be like really happy, like, Banzai! But, uh, yeah. So, that is Rod Drill in robot mode. And before I move on to his uh, biggest accessory, I'm just going to do a couple of quick size comparisons. Um, here he is with Combiner Wars Air Raid, so you can kind of see how they're, they're going there for uh, the size. Here it is with GNU Do Kenryu, which is another Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos figure. And because I'm kind of that crazy... Here he is next to his best friend for life, Trim Spencer, the Tank Trancer. So every single toy in Action Robo's Machine Robo series is going to come with this. This is a set of uh, stand parts. I actually reviewed this already in the uh, ES Gokin Rodimus Prime review, and I'm just going to link to that here. So you can see me like break it down and show different configurations, but what you need to know for using it with this figure is that he comes with just a little stand adapter and it's got a little tab that goes into the slot right in his drill butt and you just kind of stick that in there and pop it up on there like that and there's some um, ratcheting joints and now he has a stand. Uh, to be honest, though, I ne was never really enamored with this thing. I mean, it's cool when you get a bunch of them together and uh, they make a nice little display. But as far as them being like a, a stand with an armature, the, the thing just kind of tends to fall apart. And I wish the uh, adapter here was sized for Tamashii stages, but it's actually too big. So 
That's unfortunate. So one nice thing about uh, Machine Rover Revenge of Kronos anime is um, all the characters were pretty much based on their toys. So if you're going to make a modern toy, they're not going to be that much different uh, than the originals. And uh, you can see that with Rod Drill's transformation. So what you're going to do is uh, bring his arms inward. And there's just basically a slot that goes into the tabs on either side of his chest here. You just kind of maneuver that in. You're going to be rotating his arms so that the open end of his little claw hands is facing outward. Uh, the easiest way to make sure you're doing it is just to leave the, the Tonfa weapons in for this mode. So they do have vehicle mode storage. So it gives you a good guide for putting his arms in the right place. Just kind of wiggle these in place like that. And then we come around to the back here, and you're going to lift up this thing here. just pops up like that. And uh, the instructions actually come with an extra piece of paper to tell you that these need to be at a special angle. Um, which I think is this. This is as best as I can get it. Uh, so that you can bring his legs together. There's just a couple of tabs right here. And actually, um, you don't want to bring them together just yet. What you really want to do is leave them apart so you can just kind of fiddle with each side individually. And you just kind of have to work this uh, thingy out past the thigh, and then it'll come down like on the original toy. And I'm just going to do it again on this side. It's a little trickier than you you would expect, but you know, it's pretty easy to do. And on the underside of his feet, there's this little uh, blue panel comes out. And that's just going to fill in this side here. So what you're going to do now is uh, so you start to work all this stuff downward. Um, there's a peg here that actually goes into his fist. like occupying the same space as the Tonfa weapon. So just stick that down there and do that. And make sure that these are all pegged together. You just kind of have to move things around a bit. And his feet actually do tab in or slot in at the top there. And for the back things here, you're going to take this and you want to rotate this thing, which is his uh, heel in robot mode, so that this little tab can go on, or this little slot can go onto this tab right here. So just rotate these around like that, and just get them in there. And here you go. So that's uh, this is Rod Drill in his uh, drill tank mode. And again, you can see he's not really that much different than the original GoBot slash Machine Robo toy. Again, good heft to him because of the die cast parts. Um, like the original, he does actually have tiny little wheels to help him roll in uh, in drill mode. And to complete drill mode, in case you don't really like this tiny little Drew that still has his face showing, you just pop his head off, and the toy comes with a much longer, more screen-accurate drill. And still can wiggle around, so... Yeah. Alright, so, um... As, uh, you know... The first to be released of uh, these new Machine Robo toys. Drill's pretty good. Um, he's not really like a very fancy toy. Uh, he has a lot of character to him, especially if you like the Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos anime. And um, yeah, he's just kind of a, a very nice, solid, fun figure. Uh, definitely a worthy successor to the original Machine Robo toys, just with, uh, you know, all the bells and whistles of modern articulated action figures. Uh, think of it as basically like an... SH figure arts or robot damashi like machine robo figure. But that being said, uh, next up on the block is going to be Eagle Robo. So, see you next time.